busy. That is true. Everybody have a reason. Even if you are, if, in fact, if you are not busy, then you are lazy. Amen. So everyone has a reason to be busy. But out of your busy schedules, learn to recognize the presence of God. Learn to dwell in His presence. And joy of the Lord will spring within you every day of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The fourth thing that you need to do, delight in his word. Let his word be your seed. Let it guide you. Open with me to the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Joshua 1 8. The word of the Lord is a constitution of life. As a believer, uh huh. Joshua, why right there you can read Joshua one eight. Uh huh. This book of the law shall this not depart out of the law of your mouth. This book of the law, which book of law is he talking about? The word of God, the scripture. Uh huh. But ye shall meditate. He shall don't allow it to depart from your mouth. But what do you do? Meditate. Meditate. How do you meditate? Chew it, read it, study it as you are walking. Think more about what you have just studied. There is an issue around you. Go back to the word of the Lord. What does his word say? And begin to look into it. Okay, if the word of God said this, then this is what it means. Then this is do you know everything you need in life is in the Bible? Hello, everything you need. That's why it's a manual of life. That's why it's a constitution that guides everybody in life. If you know how to read it very well, <laughs> what the Bible say? It says that ye may observe to do according to all that is written there. Once you are able to observe it according to what is written there, then for then you shall make your way prosperous. You will make your way prosperous. And you shall have good success. And success will come for you and joy will not far from you. I pray for you. Joy will not far from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because of our time, I want us to finish on time. The next one that you need to do to draw and to generate joy in your life. Learn to ponder on good things. Learn to ponder on the testimonies. Hello? You know the reason why testimony is very important for us? Because it builds us. Sometimes when you want to be downcasted, think about the road that you don't see anybody in those days. And now God came for you and rescued you. When things want to go wrong around you, think about how God has shown up in the past you know one thing i normally do that i don't i don't fail to do it in life is any time every time of my life i always remember how i left dubai how i came here my wife knows this very well and in the journey of my life there are some people that are important to me i don't forget them you know the reason why because they play a very important role in my life when there was nothing, nothing, as in nothing, when there was nothing, I don't forget those days. I don't forget. I still remember it very well. The first house I lived in, I remember very well. How it looks like, I won't forget. I will not forget. I will not forget. When my first time that my wife came to visit me, where she came and saw almost 16 people in a bed sitter, I will not forget. I won't forget. Because I knew that was where God took me from. So even if I have mansion today, I won't forget the testimony of the past. Hallelujah. Are we together? Are we together? So what will help you to build the joy in you, always ponder on the good things. On the wonderful things that the Lord has done for you. Has he done it in the past for you? He can still do it again. But if you are the type that quickly forgets so fast. If you forget so quick. If you forget so quick. 
It's very dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Because you will not be able to know the power of what the Lord can do. Amen. A testimony built us a joy to face the future. The next thing you need to do, learn to put a song of joy in your mouth. Amen. What do I say? Learn to put a song of joy in your mouth. Do you know how to sing? Which song are the song you are singing? Is it all those worldly songs? If you can love me now, you'll love me later. They will destroy you. Hallelujah. All those so-called reggae, they will destroy you. Although you can't, you can't do without it, sometimes you find yourself in that environment, but don't let it remain within you. Let the song of joy remain within you. The song that will always make you think about who God is. Sometimes when I'm downcasted, I listen to some Nigerian songs and they elevate my spirit. Sometimes you see me, I just begin to dance. I just dance for the Lord. The reason is because I am generating, I am generating joy from those songs. Amen. Some song like Mighty Man of War, Lion of Judah, we bow then and worship you. Yahweh, Yahweh, come and do what only you. If you have been singing those songs ordinarily in the past, you have been missing a lot. Sometimes when you need his power, then enter into where you can generate his power. Don't just live your life like that. I want to believe I'm speaking to right-minded people this morning. Don't allow issues to always cast you down. Every time you are casted down, every time you are cast up, now only you, Allow a sweet song to come within you. Amen. Amen. Those are powerful songs that can tell you that God has a hand. He has what is called a hand, a mighty hand. When he releases his hand upon you, situation change for better. Amen. When things are still doing somehow, God is still looking at you. Uh, only I, I, I wish God is expecting within himself. How I wish you can know what to do. To bring me into action. If only you know what to do. To bring me into order. But if you don't know what to do, you will still continue suffering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, learn to sing songs of joy. Learn to let the song of joy radiate within you. A man is moved by sweet melody that surrounds him or her. And if God created us in his image, then God is more moved with sweet melodious songs and songs that has powerful revelation. Amen. Amen. If not because of our time, there are some songs I want to sing. We'll just enter into another realm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> so learn to put songs, sweet songs in your mouth to the Lord. And finally, 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 for you to derive joy and to generate joy in your life, learn to plug in to the service of God. Amen. Amen. Learn to do what? Learn to plug in to the service of God. 
in any area, however small it is, however big it is, make sure you are doing something for the Lord. God will always take responsibility over those that take responsibility in his house. If you are a garbage in, garbage out, God will just take you as ordinary. Anything can happen to you. If you are the type that only Sunday, Sunday, tablet, you come on Sunday, you go back home. God will not have much interest in you. But when you are the type that you begin to carry the things of the Lord, the cause of the Lord upon your life, upon yourself, I tell you, nobody dare touch you. You, are, you will become the apple of God's eyes. What do I say? Not, not everybody is a apple of God's eyes. So you can pray tomorrow. Pray tomorrow, fast it tomorrow. You can't, you can't be a apple of God's eyes until you know what can make you to be a apple of God's eyes. When you begin to plug in to the activities in the house of the Lord, then God begins to promote you. He begins to decorate your life. Then by the time you join like ordinary sweeper, you become a manager. From there, he lifts you up to a higher dimension. Hallelujah. And he decorates, he beautify you. He bring the best out of your life. And somebody that people could not record with yesterday now become popular figure. Because of the service to God. Learn to key in to God's service. Shall we be on our feet? Shall we be on our feet? Learn to key in to God's service. This morning I know the word of the Lord has come to you. This morning I know you have gotten something before the Lord. 